621. Thank you, Tegan. We are pleased to introduce you back to <laughs> Tracy Slephorse, who is here, a local artist. And you have something new. You brought your manners with you. Yes, I have That's why brought we're, we're my manners, manners with manners. me. <laughs> so we've seen these all over Facebook. Explain what the manners are. Well, um, so my second book, Henry and His Manners, mm -hmm. came out in the fall. And everyone was loving the little manners guy so much, so I thought, why don't we make him come to life? So I started on the project, got him here. And so the idea, and I think some people are confused, which makes it kind of fun because it's kind of sparking some conversation because right. you are starting to see him everywhere. But the idea behind it is that now when you take your kids out to dinner, they can literally take their manners with them. <gasps> So, <laughs> Jack to take him too. <laughs> so it's is, a, is this like a reminder then? So it's like a reminder. It's like a physical prompt. So it, he's a cute little guy, and kids are loving him They're and rubbing on him. Yeah. 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 So he's he's kind of a comfort. I've had people say all kinds of different things about him. Um, but really, it's you know when when you hear the word manners, you automatically sure. kind of sit up a little yes. straighter because people say, "Do you have your manners?" So so just even seeing him, mm -hmm. I hope makes people go, oh wait, that's my manners. And then it kind of triggers that inside of your mind. Right. What are my manners? Please and thank you. Because as a parent, that's what you me. do. When you go somewhere, you're like, don't forget your manners. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, please and thank you and excuse me and all that. So yeah. So yes, nice. absolutely. So let's talk about your books a little bit. You started okay. off with Eden and Her Happy. Yes. And then we have Henry uh, and His Manners. Yes. And you have something else? Up your sleeve? Yes, and I have a third book coming. It's kind of funny when a book starts to speak to me. It's just like I can't really get out of my head until it's done. So um, Charlie Martin did mm -hmm. my sec did the illustrations on my second book. Um, he's a local guy here in Quincy, and we have been collaborating. I think we're gonna. He's gonna do the third book with me as well. We just kind of decided that okay. this past week, um, and it is a book about grief. Um, grief oh, is something that yes. unfortunately I know a little bit too much about. And there doesn't seem to be a lot of good children's books out no, there. No, there's not. And I know that just because um, my kids were younger, you know, we had deaths in the family. And it's, it's really hard to explain to them mm -hmm. the process and the grieving process and all that. Yes, yes. So um, I just went into a classroom actually this week. After I write a manuscript, I like to take it into kids because that's who it's for. And yep. so, you know, I worry about that a little bit. I want it to be... Um, comfortable but good and learning and I got a great response from good the classroom. Yeah. Real quickly, where can we get Manners um, and your books? Manners, is, manners and the books mm -hmm. are available now at the 48th Street County Market, okay. which is very exciting. Um, they're at the Salty Sun, which is the new store down at 10th and Main. Yes. And then um, Curlin's has the books and hopefully the dolls will be on the shelf there real soon, the Curlin's in the mall. Okay. Great. And when can people expect the third book? Um, we are looking at uh, probably the end of summer. Okay. Yes. You're yes. welcome back here anytime, yes. Tracy. Right. Always good well, to see thank you. you. And again, thank you for coming in, right? All we right. use our manners. Thank we'll you. be right back after this at 624.